All right, good morning, people of YouTube. So we are back again today with a super fun deck profile. Uh, this time we got the Imperial Dramon with the updates with the EX collection. So this deck gained a lot of support in the new set. It gained a full green line, a full blue line, and of course a new boss monster. So the new boss monster says if a Digimon with uh, free and its traits is in this Digivolution cards, unsuspend this Digimon and suspend one of your opponent's Digimon uh, whenever you go into this. So you can kind of swing with your level 5s and then evolve into this guy and then get extra swings and then suspend their dudes and possibly swing over their dudes. And uh, most importantly, the big thing about the support this that came to this deck is this deck only had so many level fives like it just had the Pyildramon and the dino b and it really just had the blue imperial Dramon from uh set 1.5 so there wasn't a whole lot of variety in the cards that you could play in this kind of deck and now this deck is highly customizable there are so many cards that you have to choose from and uh it's honestly really nice and this is a deck that just continues to get support in future sets so this is a great investment and it's just a really fun deck to play so we'll go ahead and get right into the profile uh and we'll go ahead and start with the boss monsters this time so we got two copies of the new ex imperial Dramon that i was just telling you about um it also has an effect that it gets plus a thousand for every card with a different color in its digivolution source so if you have like a blue card, it'll go up to 12. And then if you have a green card, it'll go up to 13 as well. So um, that's also really nice. And it just makes this card nice and beefy. And uh, you can get extra swings with it. Next, we have the blue Imperial Dramon from set 1.5. This card says that whenever you digivolve into it, you get to unsuspend everything with jamming. And it itself has jamming. So this card is really free whenever you're swinging in security. And it's still, in my opinion, the better one overall because there's not really a condition to fulfill in order to unsuspend. Um, and, I mean, you're always going to have a free that you're evolving into, but you have to swing with the level 5 in order to get value off of this. And you can kind of uh, digivolve into this card to unsuspend your entire board, and it's it gives you a lot of value. Um so I do like the 2-3 split, but the most important thing is you now aren't just playing the 4 blue Imperial Jamon. So, yeah, this is really nice. Next, we have a couple level 7s. We got two copies of the Blitz Omnimon, because Blitz Omnimon will let you close out games. Uh, you're going to swing a lot of times with Imperial Jamon, and uh, this card will close it out for you. For the level 5s, these are the cards that are letting you swing multiple times. We got four copies of the E, or I'm sorry, of the BT 1.5 Pai Yildramon. This card has jamming, and it says it has the inheritable that if it has Imperial Dramon, you get to attack again. So with this, you know, you're swinging with, into their security with jamming. You evolve this into this Pai Imperial Dramon, and then it unspends, and then you swing with jamming again. And that's really nice. And then you have now this card to combo with it as well because you can swing with jamming and then evolve into this card and then it'll still unsuspend and then you'll suspend something on your opponent's board and then you can swing and then the inheritable trigger and then you unsuspend and then you can swing again and it's a lot of fun um this pyildramon in my opinion is the best level five in the deck still just because of the inheritable to let you swing multiple times but we do have another Pyildramon that we got in the set. Um, the EX Pyildramon is really good. Um, it has the inheritable effect that says you can't be blocked. So uh, this card is really useful whenever you're trying to close out games. And it also has a windage evolving effect that says if it has a Digimon with free in its um, sources, you get to unsuspend it. That's usually not going to happen. Sure, you have Stingmon that you can swing with and you have XVmon that you can swing with. Um, sometimes Gorilla, but most of the time you're just playing this card because of the Inheritable effect. It is really good. And, uh, yeah, I think playing seven Pyildramons is the way to go. 
the Dino Beamon from 1.5 is really good this format specifically because people are swinging with a lot of lower level Digimon and you have piercing and jamming on that Digimon so you can kind of just swing in and punish them for getting aggression early game um, however I do just like the consistency that the Pi Yildramon package provides so those are my level 5s going into level 4s I got four copies of Stingmon. This card's gonna give you the inheritable effect of piercing, and it also has piercing itself. So that's really nice. I got two copies of XVmon. It's gonna give you the inheritable effect of jamming, and it has jamming itself. So that's really nice. Um, this is less valuable than the Stingmon, in my opinion, because three of your Imperial Jamon already have jamming, and four of your Pyildramon already have jamming. Um, but if you want to bump this card up to three, you absolutely can. Um, but giving your cards piercing is absolutely amazing. This card makes it so that even if they do block you, they're still taking damage. And you can clear their board while simultaneously do damage to them. So piercing just lets this deck add tremendous value to its aggression. Um, because you can kind of just take this deck from an OTK style deck into a tempo deck if you have to. And it's actually really good at playing the tempo game. So these cards are amazing, and I'm very, very glad we got them in this set. Next, onto the cards that we already had. We got two copies of Lobo, because Lobo for game is always a thing. We got one copy of Gorillamon for a cheap evolution to bridge into level 5s. Um, and also it's just a 6,000 beater, so that's sort of nice. And then to round it off, we got two copies of Grizzlymon, because the 6,000 blockers are superior to this format. So that's my 11 level 4s. We play uh, 5 level 6s, 2 level 7s, 7 level 5s. 11 level 4s, and 14 level 3s. So, getting into the level 3s now, we got 4 copies of the Jamming Vmon, because this is obligatory in this style of deck. You can unsuspend it with the Imperial Jamon that you want to go into most of the time, and get extra attacks. Plus, drawing this card early game means you get to draw, because you're playing the uh, Demi Vmon that lets you draw cards if you have Jamming. So, this is just a really good card. We got three copies of the new Vmon that gives you memory if you unsuspend. All of your Imperial Jamon unsuspend. Uh, this Pyil Jamon uh, can unsuspend, so uh, this Vmon will gain you memory a lot. I'm only playing three because it does take some setup, um, and it does get blocked by Chumon and stuff and Madoki Beta, but uh, we play Madoki Beta ourselves, so we got two copies of that to block memory gain because memory gain is very valuable with memory boosts and things running around. Um, the blue package running hammer sparks. Um, we ourselves are running hammer sparks and like ice walls and stuff in security. So this is really good into the mirror match and just, it's just really good this format. This is gonna get value in pretty much any tournament you will ever go to. We got three copies of Dracomon because we play seven Pyildramon and five Imperial Jamon, and this card can search all of those. So this makes it so that we'll never have to worry about really trying to find our top end. And then we got two two-cost Vanillas to round out this rookie package. Um, sometimes this deck wants to go wide, and these cards can help you do that. So I do like having two-cost Vanillas. And uh, yeah, that's it for the rookies. Going straight ahead into the Tamers and Options, we play three copies of Davis. No real surprise here. Since we are playing Stingmon now, we have way more options to like hit green. Um, I'm not really playing Dino B, so I guess if I played Dino B, then there would be more options to hit off of Davis. And the new EX Dino B is also really good. Um, but I do think that I like playing the Pyildramon more. But if you want to bump up the consistency of Davis, you can add more green cards, because this deck definitely has lots of green cards that it can play. And then for the options, you ready for this? There's going to be a real surprise here. We're going to play four Ice Wall and four Hammer Spark. So uh, 
it's a blue deck, and uh, that's uh, this is ideal. So whenever the ban list hits, you're going to go down to one ice wall, obviously. You're still going to play it. But then these cards become flex spots. What I'm thinking is uh, two removal cards, be it like Absolute Blast, Kakaitis Breath, uh, V-Wing Blade, uh, whatever flavor of removal you want, and then maybe a memory boost, something like a Howling, because this card provides tremendous defensive value, um, and Howling Memory Boost also provides tremendous defensive value. So I'm thinking those will be the cuts, but for now, Obviously, you play the four ice wall because this card is just busted. Um, and yeah, that's really it for the profile. So, hope you guys liked this style of video. Uh, make sure you guys let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. And we hope to see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.